Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Karen. In today's video, we're going to talk about some globally well-known metropolitans in China, such as Peking and Hong Kong. We know these famous cities have their international names in English, but what are their real Chinese names and how do Chinese call them in Mandarin? Also, I added a place to visit to each city and I will also show you what do Chinese call them in Mandarin and how do you pronounce these places in Chinese correctly. Let's find out. The very first one is the capital in China, that is Peking. Well, in Mandarin, we don't really call it Peking or Beijing. The correct way to pronounce this city is Beijing. Beijing. Third tone and first tone. Beijing. A very, very famous scenic spot in Beijing is Forbidden City. If you guys haven't visited it, I strongly recommend you do. Check it out. It's very glamorous, very splendid, very breathtaking. The Chinese name of Forbidden City is Zijing Cheng. Zijing Cheng. Zi is purple. Jing is forbidden. Cheng is city. Zijing Cheng is such a beautiful Chinese name. Next one, this one. Is it Shanghai? Mm, it sounds very close, but not completely correct. Well, Chinese people call it Shanghai. Shanghai. Fourth tone and third tone. Shanghai. Shanghai is also a city with a large population. And one place you have to visit in Shanghai, and I'm sure a lot of foreigners do know this place, the Bund. The Chinese name is Wai Tan. Wai Tan. Wai Tan. Next one, this one. This one is also one of the four tier one cities in China. Guangzhou. Guangzhou. So the city is in southern China. Guangzhou. And one very iconic tower in the city is the Guangzhou Ta. Guangzhou Ta. Well, it also has a really, really cute nickname. Do you notice the shape of this tower is very much like a lady's waist, the curvature of a lady's waist? That's why we also call it Xiao Man Yao. Xiao Man Yao. If you guys know this nickname of this tower and you show it to your Chinese friends, they will be very impressed. Next one, another tier one city in China, Shenzhen. Shenzhen is also where I live in. I definitely love it. It's such a modern and young and open city. Shenzhen. Well, because it is a young city, it doesn't have much history or cultural places to visit, but we do have Window of the World, where there are a collection of famous architectures around the world, but miniature versions. So Window of the World's Chinese name is 世界之窗 世界之窗 世界 is the world 之 is off 窗 window 世界之窗 This one, I know a lot of you guys must know it because of Terracotta Army and don't worry, I will get to how to pronounce Terracotta Army in Chinese The Chinese name of the city is Xi'an Xi'an the tricky part is this X consonant is not necessarily sh or is not s. So it's like this in between sound. Xi and don't forget the Terracotta Army. It is built in Qing Dynasty, Qing Chao, and the Chinese name of this place is Bing Ma Yong. Bing Ma Yong. Next one, this one, Hangzhou. Hangzhou. And Hangzhou has a lake, West Lake. Xi Hu. Xi Hu. Xi is West, Hu is Lake. So, Xi Hu, West Lake. Next one, Tibet. Tibet's Chinese name is quite different as in English, so it is Xi Zhang. Xi Zhang. 
and Xizang has a palace, the Potala Palace. Bu Da La Gong. Bu Da La Gong. I haven't been to Xizang yet. If you guys have visited this place and the palace, please let me know how is it. Last two cities. This one, also globally well known. And the Chinese name of Hong Kong is Xiang Gang. Xiang Gang. You have to go to the Victoria's Peak if you're in Xiang Gang. Tai Ping Shan. Tai Ping Shan. Shan is mountain. Last one, Macau. Macau's Chinese name is also quite different as the English one, Ao Men. Ao Men. Have you ever seen this ruins of St. Paul's? I have to admit that I didn't even know the English name of this famous spot in Macau. Um, I just know the Chinese name, and the Chinese one is Da San Ba. Da San Ba. It sounds a bit interesting. It sounds a bit funny, but I don't know why it is translated into this Da San Ba. And that is today's video about ten very famous cities in China and where to visit in these cities. How do you call them in Chinese? Next time when you're trying to tell your story of adventure in China, and your Chinese friends ask you, oh, where did you go? You can show them that you know the Chinese names of the city and you know how to pronounce them like a Chinese does. If you guys like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.